Welcome back to my chess course and in this lecture I'm going to show you the game between Taimanov and Najdorf which was played in Zurich in 1953. From this lecture you will learn how to attack if the center is closed. d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3. Bishop g7. e4. It's King's Indian defense. White occupied the center, but Black tries to increase the pressure. Bishop from g7 attacks on d4. The knight on c6 and a pawn on e5 will help it. Instead of e4, White could also play g3. Or bishop g5, d6, defending from e5, knight f3. It's a classical line. Other options are f3, Simish variation, and bishop g5, a verbal variation, and h3, castle, bishop e2. It's better than bishop d3, because the bishop doesn't close d-file. e5, the most popular move in this position, however, it gives white an option to close up the center. Another option was to play knight b to d7. If c5 here, then white castles, and black has to take on d4, accepting a cramped position. So e5, white castles. It was also possible to take on e5. But uh, white doesn't win a pawn on e5. If he takes, then knight takes on e4. Knight takes knight, bishop takes on e5. If bishop g5, then rook d4. So white castles. Knight c6. Another option was to play knight to d7. d5. Knight goes to e7. It's a classical line of king's Indian defense. White's plan is to attack on the queen side and try to get some material advantage. Black's plan is to attack on the king side. Black can transfer his knight to g6. Knight e1. The knight will be transferred to d3 and it takes c5 square under its control. It also leaves f3 square for the bishop or the pawn. Other possible plans in this position are b4 and knight d2. Knight to g7. The knight prevents white to play c4, c5 and also allows f-pawn to move. Bishop e3. Not the best move because black will play f5 and then f4 and win a temper. f5, f3, f4. Bishop goes to f2. g5. Black started to advance his pawns. Knight d3. Knight f6, c5, knight g6, rook c1, rook f7. The rook protects c7 square, rook c2. White plays too slow. It was better to take on d6 and then to play knight b5, rook c2. Bishop f8, a typical move for black. He protected d6 square with his bishop and now he is going to move the rook to g7. At the same time, black knights attack white king. c takes on d6, c takes on d6, queen d2, g4, rook f to c1, g3. To accelerate the attack and open a file, black sacrifices a pawn. h3 
takes on g3, f takes on g3, bishop takes on g3. Knight h5 attacking the bishop. Bishop h2. The bishop covers the king and controls f4 square. Bishop e7. In this line it's very important for black to activate dark squared bishop. He's going to play bishop g5. Knight to b1. It's a trap. For example, if black plays bishop g5, then white takes on c8. White takes on c8. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. Queen takes rook. And queen takes on g5. White has two minor pieces for a rook. Bishop g7. Queen e1. Bishop g5. Black has a strong initiative for the pawn. It's obviously that black are ahead on the king side. Knight d2. Bishop e3 check. King h1. Queen g5. Black has a converging attack on the king side. White has to sacrifice the exchange taking the bishop on a3 after knight c4 in this position. But he plays bishop f1. Rook a to f8. Rook d1. b5. a4. a6. a takes on b5. a takes on b5. Rook c7. A useless thrust. The only rook can't make anything there. Rook g7. Knight b3. Knight to h4. Rook c2. Bishop h3. Seven black pieces attack white king. g2 square is attacked four times. White has no means to protect it. After g takes on h3, black checkmates in three moves. Queen g1, bishop takes on g1, rook takes bishop, king h2 and knight f3. Moreover, black is threatening with knight g3 check. Queen e2, defending on g2. Knight takes on g2, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop check, queen takes bishop and queen h4. Black sacrificed the piece, but after queen moves, black will play knight g3. That's why white played queen takes on g7 in this position. King takes on g7, rook g2, check, king h8, knight e1, knight f4, rook g3. Bishop f2, rook g4, queen h3, knight d2, protecting on f3, h5, and white resigned in this position. He has no squares for the rook. If he plays rook g5, then rook g8, rook takes rook, king takes on g8, and Checkmate is unavoidable. Black will play bishop g3 and then take on h2 with his queen. This knight can't move, it should cover g2 square. Thank you for your attention. In this lecture I demonstrated to you one of the plans how to attack if the center is closed up.